Hello everyone, this is the video number 6, logging into Gmail. <clears throat> in this tutorial, I am going to explain how to logging into your Gmail account with Selenium. <clears throat> um, I am requesting you guys, please don't use your any of your personal account for this tutorial because <clears throat> Google, they have their modern technology to find out this automate who is automating their websites and uh, there is a possibility that they may block your account so instead of that just create another fake account and you can use those fake accounts for your this <coughs> selenium automation purpose so i created a, one fake account and these are the steps we are going to follow <coughs> in this video first we are going to set up these drivers and we are going to <coughs> we are making this driver to navigate to this mail.google.com and we are going to sign up with these credentials <coughs> up to this we are going to cover in this video so let's start so in this test folder there is a java folder in this java just right click new create a java class uh, i name it as test drivers email all right just enter <coughs> so there is java class is created so whatever you are going to code it just dump everything into the main class so i call a main class public static void main so just string args it is java program so inside this main class our code starts <coughs> before doing everything before doing anything just start first create a driver class and set the properties i just copy these codes because i don't like to type these paths and all i don't know i don't like to give paths again and again so it's covered in the second or third video so i just click on this web driver it's saying this driver is not imported so it's just create alt enter yeah it is the package will be imported automatically all right so <clears throat> this web driver by default it uses a firefox so if you want to use a chrome driver this you need to set the property these two parameters it's a driver location where it is stored and uh, this is web driver it is you should give like this web driver dot chrome dot driver and this is the path where you store it <clears throat> so we set the driver but i just comment it setting driver properties all right so we set the properties once we set the properties we should tell the driver which website or web page we supposed to go so for example i should go to mail.google.com so we should make this driver object to navigate to that page as of now driver object is pointed to our google drive Google driver so navigate your driver to mail.google.com right so how to do that driver dot navigate there is already navigate method is there we will make use of that dot to yeah to in this we just pass the URL of the page right so http mail dot google dot com alright so now your driver is now we go to this page <coughs> so as of now we are in this page in this text in this and uh, text field we should enter our email so i created a one fake account automation fun world dot at gmail dot com i just and i just paste here it is through manually how to do this through programmatically so we should before then you should <coughs> find the css element of this text box how to do that we will make use of a simple way just right click as i told in the previous videos inspect yeah we got this element once you hover you can find this 
element is highlighted right click copy copy select all right <coughs> let's also directly i copied the element i want to verify you can verify that i paste yeah yeah that is we got the element so <coughs> step is enter email id right so how to say the driver to enter your email id in this text box you should give a css selector of this element this text box so i will call driver dot find element yeah there is remember there are already find elements one more method is that it will return a list of web elements i just need a one element so i just call a find element method in that by dot css selectors in this you should paste the css selector what i got copied from this copy l selectors right i paste this selector and what do you want me to do i want to send some text to this field i want to set some text in this text field so there are already some method that are click send keys clear clear is going to clear these text fields and click is going to click that element and get attributes returns the attribute of that tag get location get size i want to send some keys send some keys means i'm going to send some i'm going to enter in this something on this text box <coughs> so it's better to call a send keys what do the with this email id right so what's going to do it's going to <coughs> driver is going first navigated to mail.google.com and it finds an element with this css selector which is this text box and for this text box it sends some keys it sends some characters whatever you gave in this double quotes so it sends automation funword at gmail.com it enters automation funword at gmail.com and i want to enter next button all right do you want me to test it once again we will and i want to click this next button how to do that right click inspect element do it yeah this is the element right click copy copy selector all right so click next the step is click on next button all right driver same procedure find element by css selectors paste whatever that you got css element from this and dot click it's as simple as that the procedure remains the same only thing is we should easily should find the way how to find a css selector of each and element that's what i told right click copy copy selector and paste into this method all right so it's going to enter email id and click on to click click on to the next button let's try it out and right click run test driver email mail function let me run this let's see what happens all right yeah it started it's navigated to mail.google.com and it's entered and next yeah finally successfully it's <coughs> navigated it navigated program run successfully all right so our first once it is next we should enter the password here and right click on this same thing once it is navigated input file yeah before that <coughs> make sure that you have a sufficient internet speed if suppose internet is slow what happens it goes to mail.google.com okay there is sometime takes one or two second to load this page if the internet is slow what happens the driver just go to this page and it won't wait it directly goes to email element and try to find this element still page is not it loaded that time itself so it's better to tell the driver to wait for some time to load this page so that once the page is loaded it can easily find this otherwise it throws element not found exception instead of 
throwing the exception it's better to say the driver to wait for some second all right how to do that yeah in this page it's going to the mail.google.com make another comment wait for the element to load all right so i call driver dot manage the timeouts timeouts dot uh, implicitly wait i just call this method with some 3 second is sufficient for me and it takes time util you can see time utils <coughs> this method i call time util dot seconds right so what it does it's driver go to this page and wait for 3 second till the page is loaded make sure that your page is going to wait is going to load within 3 seconds otherwise it's going to throw an exception so you can give it to 5 seconds as well but let's give it to 3 seconds is fine i feel my internet is better so <coughs> it's you are giving seconds here you can give it in millisecond days whatever right so this code is making the driver to wait for 3 seconds that time <coughs> makes sure internet Th 3 second page is loading here it's going to enter automation forward fun word at gmail.com and it's going to press this click button so we are here now so <coughs> i want to send the password at this position so here it's going to click after clicking it's after i click this button it goes to this page it's better to again put <coughs> time wait for the driver for at least one or two seconds so i just call this method again driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit time second for two seconds is fine this time time utils dot seconds yeah again once we press this click button it's wait for two seconds till this page loads and make sure that automation for whatever the email id you entered will be fine now I'm going to enter the password for this text field. Yeah, this is this element. Copy, copy selector. Yeah, I'm going to here enter password. All right. Driver dot find elements by CSS selector. This I'm going to paste whatever I copied there. Then what I want? I want to send something. So we have to call send keys double quotes yeah what is the password i gave yeah something i'm sure i'm going to change this password <laughs> don't make use of the second as soon as this video is ends up i'm going to change this password all right so it's going to send the password enters here and i want to press sign in button all right again the same procedure yeah copy selector and here Click sign in button. All right, send procedure. Try dot find element by ID. In this, I'm going to copy this and want to perform click operation. <coughs> it's going to click that element. So <coughs> it's once I enter this, I will copy this pattern. Okay, I'll paste. I'll enter. Yeah, it takes time to load here, right? Yeah, it takes basically it takes more time to load. So it's again here it's better to give wait driver wait for five seconds till the page loads up. Right? So driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicit time. implicitly wait five second time utils dot seconds. All right. And at the end, <coughs> we should use driver dot close. And remember, it's better to close the driver and quit the driver. Don't forget to use these methods at the end because we should driver to close at the end of each and every program. It is the way of writing the code, alright? So <coughs> I hope my code is going to work fine. It's going to it's going for mail.google.com and wait for three seconds and enter the email I gave and going to press the click next button wait for two more seconds to wait till the page loads and going to enter the password and sign in click on the sign in button and wait for five seconds till the email loads
Mr. Anand say. Hope it's going to work as expected. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, all right. Yeah. It's work fine. Yeah, you can see it's running successfully. So, yeah. Program run fine, fine successfully. Yeah, guys. In the next videos, <coughs> we'll cover this compose button. We'll set whatever is going to set text to subjects and send button and your logout. It's going to come in the next video. I hope it's clear to you guys. If you have any doubts, please reach me out. Thank you so much. Bye bye.